In this lesson, we're going to talk about charts in Google Sheets. So charts allow you to do a lot of really interesting things and allow you to visualize your data. Um, so you can use charts to, to show trends or to you know, identify how your data is changing over time or you know, in relation to other factors. You can also use charts to illustrate the magnitude and it's really easy to compare different values using a chart as opposed to trying to look at a lot of data or a lot of different values in a spreadsheet. Using a chart can make it a lot more effective to kind of deliver your message. You can use charts to observe patterns that might not be obvious when you're just looking at numbers. And you can also use charts to find exceptions to your data, things that don't quite fit in or things that might be anomalies. Um, in Google Sheets, Charts can respond to the changes in your data, so you can create a chart, and then as your data changes, as other things are modified, as your data increases or grows, you're able to see those reflected in the chart. So charts can be really effective in a spreadsheet because you can create them once and just as your data is changed or as uh, formulas change or as calculations change or if things are improved, you can kind of see that without having to rebuild this chart. You can create charts from ranges in your spreadsheet really, really easily. And uh, in a, another video, we'll show you how you can do that, how you can select ranges, select values in your data and create a chart very, very quickly. Um, there are a couple of different charts in, in Google Sheets that we'll look at. There are some that we're not going to look at here, but these are probably the most common kinds of charts you're going to see. Line charts, area charts, which are just kind of an extension of line charts, uh, column and bar charts, which are very, very similar, uh, pie charts and scatter charts. So a line chart is pretty straightforward. You've got some kind of input. You might measure that against some kind of output. So uh, you might have something like time values and you know measurements there like if you want to see uh, how temperatures vary over time or you know how sales figures might vary over time or uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be time either it could be you know measured against a lot of different things but a line chart is kind of simple and you could show multiple lines on a single chart but generally a line chart is illustrating the comparison between two different factors an area chart works very similarly to a line chart. An area chart you've got on uh, you've either got a stacked or an unstacked chart. So a stacked area chart if you look at the graph on the right, you'll see that you know it kind of adds the values. So this red line now is above and you can see it kind of curving. So these are two different charts looking at the exact same data. Unstacked, we've got our, our red line just kind of showing some some trend, kind of small trend, but when we add that to the blue line, you can see how the stacked area chart kind of illustrates a different point. Uh, so area charts, very, very similar to line charts, but you can use them to kind of stack your data on top of each other. So if you've got something that's additive, uh, it might make more sense using an area chart. Column charts and bar charts are also very, very similar. Column charts and bar charts are used to identify, you know, some kind of labeled data. So here we have months, you know, maybe these are sales figures, but we're doing, we're, we're also listing kind of the same values here on the left and the right, just using a car, column chart and a bar chart. The only difference that I can tell uh, in these in Google Sheets is the, the idea that uh, your column chart is vertical bars and your bar chart is horizontal bars. Um, but they're really kind of showing the same, the same uh, data here. And you can kind of look, if you just turn this one on the left on its side, it would kind of look a lot like the one on the right. Uh, even the numbers here, the, the scale of the chart is pretty similar. So you can see uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, either going uh, you know, on the left side of the column chart or on the bottom of the bar chart. So very, very similar, uh, similar charts here. We also have pie charts. Pie charts are good for showing uh, how uh, how things re how numbers relate how something is composed uh, bar charts or pie charts are, are very good for showing how much of something uh, some whole that d different parts make up uh, pie charts can be pretty effective for showing this but they're also kind of hard to compare so it's hard to see how how big the size the slices are in comparison to each other and if you have a lot of different values that can also be kind of challenging to interpret but if you have a handful of values three four five values uh, sometimes pie charts can be really good at kind of expressing your point. Now we have scatter charts as well, and scatter charts are especially good for finding exceptional data uh, because they can kind of allow you to observe a pattern here. And here we have, you can see it's kind of a linear pattern moving from the left side to the, the top right side. So there's, there's kind of a linear path here, but we also have some exceptional data. We've got these outliers down here, and we've got one or two outliers over here. So scatter charts are pretty good, you know, very similar to line charts for uh, measuring this, uh, this input versus output or some type of observation or some type of uh, some type of compared value. 
Now, Google, Char Google Sheets also allows you to insert drawings. You can insert these illustrations or graphs. Uh, unfortunately, you can't really make these data-driven um, in Google Sheets. You can create different drawings. You can create different graphs. And these might be good to relay a concept or you know, show something about uh, some type of idea or some type of process. But they're not always great for showing, or for showing something that's data-driven. Um, on the other hand, they can be used for interaction at some point. So once we get to those, that point, we'll actually see how you can use these for interaction, uh, attach scripts to those, and actually run code. Uh, you can also insert images into your spreadsheets, and you know you can just grab an image from the internet and you can actually throw that right in there. We'll take a look at how you can add those to your spreadsheets as well. Again, not data driven, but they may illustrate something that is important for your spread for your uh, for your spreadsheet. So. We'll, in our next video, we'll get into kind of demonstrating how each one of these works and how we can use them, and then we'll go through some more complex exercises. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.